Drew, we learned that Ralph moved out of your bedroom. So not regularly will he sleep in another room. If we have an argument, he'll go to one of the kids' rooms, you know, from time to time if we have a disagreement. But that's not like always our practice. We try to resolve it as much as we can. Think about the changes that I've been making. What changes? I left the room. Ralph has moved out of the bedroom and he does, we're not even sharing the same space. But in this case, I had gotten a call from my sister who was at the house and she said he was like packing bags and moving in the guest room and actually went out and bought a new mattress. What? So that to me seemed a little more permanent. Um, knowing that the movie was only so many days, you know, we're gonna wrap it up. So it seemed a little more committal. So I was very caught off guard. And then of course, Josiah had texted me and they, he was questioning me like, dad's sleeping in another room for some it weird reason. It was all reason. about the movie? He said a couple of different reasons. He said one reason was because I was coming in late while I was doing the movie. And then he said to someone else that it was because I keep the room too warm and he wanted to be cool. Drew loves the heat on like 82. I'm a guy that likes it like closer to like 68, 72, you know? I don't know, why are you making these faces? He just gave a couple of different reasons why um, he moved out. It's about me making certain changes that make me feel good because I have that right too. And I'm getting to a place to where, you know, where I can feel more liberated, where more free and be able to smell the roses and the, the fruits of my labor. I have not really taken advantage of that. I wasn't sure. We never had a conversation. He just did it. And that's just what it was. And it never changed. <laughs> so. Mm. He never moved back in. Sonia, you received some unfortunate news after filming. Are you comfortable sharing your experience? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so, I mean, obviously you guys know, but um, Marla, you came to my five week visit. Good news is you're pregnant. At 10 weeks, we'll draw blood and determine boy or girl. Okay. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. So oh, this your sidekick, sidekick today? It's yes. Girl. This is my sidekick it's, it's now, every day. Every day. I'm yeah. really the this real is, sidekick. This is my okay. real sidekick. You know, everything was fine. We did the measurements. Amazing. And she was like, so you know, when fun. you come back for the next one, we can finally hear a heartbeat. And I was like, we were looking forward to that, of course, and excited about that. Um, so I go back with Ross, and um, she comes in, and she says, I don't have good news. But y'all, it's crazy. I think in my life I've been so blessed to like, I don't really get a lot of bad news. So I thought she was gonna say I have great news. I didn't even, I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind that she was gonna say I had, you know, like bad news. So I'm thinking, oh God, I got twins. You know, <laughs> that's where right. my head goes to. And she's like, um, you know, the baby's not growing. It's been two weeks and it's still showing it's five weeks. She told me that the baby wasn't growing and it looked like it was no longer a viable pregnancy. So I was like, what? And I was just literally stunned. Like, it's like, the tricky thing about it is like, the minute you get pregnant, it's like, you start to feel like a mom. Like mm -hmm. you start to envision your life You're with a kid. Excited. And it looks like it's, yeah. it, becomes real, it becomes real to you, you know? So she wanted to do the DNC that Thursday, but I had to travel, like whatever, to go to New York for some work stuff. And I was like, well, can I go to New York and come back and do it? She's like, yeah, you should be fine. So I go to New York and I'm in, my, in the car on the way back to the hotel and I feel Awful. No, no, I feel my body. I feel the, like the, I feel like the miscarriage happening. And I'm literally in the car with three men. So I'm like, uh, guys, um, I was pregnant, not anymore. And I think I'm having the miscarriage right now. So they cover me up and take me to my room. And um, I go upstairs and I, you know, clean up and I feel like I'm fine. But then I literally was in the room for like an hour with nothing else. I, th I thought okay. I passed it all. Mm -hmm. So I go to this event and I get in the taxi to go and I feel another huge gush of blood. And so I go quickly and change and, and I get back in the taxi. I'm like, I'm gonna go back to, I'm like, I'll go back to the hotel saying like, you, you're done for the night. And y'all, I'm in the taxi for like 30 to 40 minutes because of traffic. I, we could not get through Times mm -hmm. Square. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like faint. And so I try to get to my room and I have to crawl. It was just so much. And long yeah. story short, like I ended up at the hospital lose so much, but I have to get a blood transfusion. And it was just such a traumatic experience. And I was by myself, because um, I was in New York. Um, Ross wasn't there. One of my coworkers came with me, but it just like put so much stuff in perspective for me. Like when I got back home, I was like, damn, like, yeah, I realized that I really want it. Like I really want to have a kid again, but I feel like I got to slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Who tells you that? I'll yeah, be I got to slow down a little bit because it's like, mm -hmm. me, if I wasn't moving so much, so it was just, y'all, it was oh. a lot. Yeah, you can't. But 
put that you on yourself. Say that. Yeah, you it's on his time. Man. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, true. it was really sad. Yeah. Cause obviously, I feel like y'all were on the journey yeah, with me. Damn. Cause I told y'all super early, and you sent like the most beautiful bouquet of flowers, oh. and you called and checked on me, and everybody checked on me in their own way. Um, Even though it hurts so bad when mm -hmm. it's meant to be or to be, yeah. Yeah. God doesn't make any mistakes. Yeah, yeah. So for for sure, this time, sure. it's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I um, miscarried uh, right before Callie. Oh. Mm -hmm. so you know, a lot of people tell me, like, you always miscarry and then ra yeah. rainbow yeah. baby right away. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so you guys are still trying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, you see, still, she got like reduced for five days. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't get sent. Deuce was do say her for five days. Yes, Deuce will be gone for a week, so we're going <laughs> to be working on it again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs>Who stuns the crowd with her performance of You Already Know at the past rap party? There's no denying that Drew has a beautiful voice. She's beautiful, she's talented, and she can dance. Pour a glass of Moscato. Uh -huh. I'm gonna ride it just like a Bronco. Cause you already know. She's giving you sex appeal. So I think, you know, yeah, it was a comeback because we were disappointed by that woo woo woo. I'm gonna love me all the way. Talk to me about <laughs> what it was like to prove yeah. everybody that you were more than the woo 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 girl. I told y'all no. I mean, it was like this was my moment and I was so happy and grateful like that Todd asked me to perform. So it was like a real true celebration. was me back in my music bag, which I have not been in a very, 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 very long time. It was awesome. Obviously, Candace's uh, show kind of set me up for that moment, and that night was really like a full circle moment to be able to put on a whole performance. I mean, first of all, we all know that Drew can sing. I mean, I just kind of felt like she sang more <laughs> on the happy birthday. <laughs> happy yeah. birthday yes, for you. to you. For you. <laughs> happy birthday, Sheree. when she got on stage with Candace. Uh, I ran longer to clinch my 400 meter gold medal than Drew was just on stage. Yeah, give it up for Miss Drew Sidorio. Uh, uh, nothing, uh, I thought you was getting up there and gonna like perform. You know, at the time I didn't know what I was doing. I just know she asked me to come and sing, so I was like, cool, let's go. I did not want the woo woo woo. I wanted a real performance and she gave us that, so yes. What would you rate it? Oh, I don't want to rate her. She was good. You know what I mean? She's good. I think we all can do better. Like, can we rate my Bravo uh, performance? Like, I say I'm fabulous. You say I'm old. I say I'm fabulous. It was an off day. You know, she has my seal of approval.